for you. Traffic stopped in its tracks by trains tonight. There is a call to action to do something about it. Yeah, drivers run into that problem all the time downriver. These backups can last for hours. Seven Action News reporter Andy Choi is in Woodhaven tonight where patients has jumped the tracks. Usually we get pretty busy on Coney days. The traffic jam inside Andy's Coney Island pales to the gridlock outside, especially when this rolls into Woodhaven. The frequent train delays at Allen Road near Van Horn have residents looking for a long-term answer. Mayor Patricia Odette wants to see an underpass after thousands of residents say the train is putting life at a standstill. They would sit there 20, 30, 40 minutes. Well, the one time it broke down, it was like four or five hours. That was the worst. Four hours? Four to five hours. Well, it used to be they paid a fine if they blocked that long, and from what I've heard, that's no longer on the books anymore. They can block the tracks up to six to eight hours according to the uh, new laws. Bottom line, it hurts. We're late on deliveries. Even people come by and pick up their pizza. There's some time they'll call and say, my pizza's still warm. Our residents cannot reach the Trauma 2 hospital, um, which is located on the other side of this train. It's a matter of life and death now. Alleviating this problem will take a large amount of cash. The city of Woodhaven says $30 million, and they're hoping to get money from different sources. Mayor Odette says the city is applying for a $15 million Tiger grant from the federal government. They've already got $10 million in a federal earmark. The city says if the grant is secured, residents could see the underpass in about three years. In Woodhaven, Andy Choi, 7 Action News. All right, thank you.